Hey everyone, this is Sam and welcome to my Assassin's Creed Valhalla player build tutorials. So today I'm going to show you guys what I call the Salad Killer build. This build is so fundamentally sound that even on very hard while you're 30 plus level under, you can still take down Salads with ease. You're going to be able to dominate them through melee, through range, and there's nothing they can do against you. With this build in hand, you're going to have the perfect synergy between your best abilities and your best skills combined together, all setup goes down. And if you would like to discuss Valhalla or even play other games online together on PlayStation Network, you can just add my gamer tag there and I'll take your friend request. Also, you can click on the card above or the link in the description below for more player build or combat tip tutorials on Valhalla from my all Valhalla tutorial playlist. So, uh, as always, the difficulty is set to very hard, and also the uh, stealth difficulty is also on Master Assassin. So let's take a look at this build in detail, and yes, even if you are 33 levels under, 57 versus at level 90 salad, you're going to be perfectly fine because of the gameplay mechanic of the skill trees where you can constantly change them with no cost to you. So you're just going to get the best abilities for certain boss fights, and especially one-on-one -on -one salad or individual fights. And the ones you're going to need are exactly as laid out in that chart so you can copy that. But the key skills are Heavy Dual Wield, Counter Row, and to get to these skills you have to follow that path. So make sure you follow the path as I laid out earlier. Also make sure you get Brush with Death. And at the same time you're also going to get Backstab. And all of those are going to work together with incredible synergy as I will show you later. And I make sure you also get the adrenaline upgrades as I have laid out for you. So this is the one from the yellow branch and this is another one from the red. You can obviously get more as you get higher level but two is enough or three overall is enough. But the key is you are going to need a spear as a weapon. So you can get the fear spear, that's key. It doesn't have to be super high level, any level will actually be okay. And also make sure you have the ability focus of the Nornia combined together. So the spear and the Nornia. You can actually get both at this location you see right here as I zoom in. And uh, it's going to open up to you as you follow the main quest line. It's actually one of the first two pledge missions in the game. I don't want to spoil anything, but as you follow the main quest line and do pledge missions, you will be able to get those spear and ability you need. Now, the spear has incredibly long range. Before you do get into a salad fight where you're well 30 level under, practice with the spear just so you can get a feel of exactly how long that range is. And as you can see, it's incredible, especially when it's one-handed. Now versus Salads, you gotta understand this, they have two weak spots, so one in the knee and one in the back. And this also applies to other bosses. And you can see the weak spot as you get into arrow mode. Make sure you have a Hunter Bolt equipped. And you can see, it's actually rather hard to get to the weak spots of the Salad because of the way they position. But they do give up an opening when they do a large attack. And when they do that, you wanna turn on your ability, focus on the Nornia, where you're gonna slow down time with your bow. And you're gonna attack with only your hunter bow. And now you're gonna shoot them at their weak spots, which take down their staggering. But the animation is as such that if you hit them in the weak spot, they're gonna stun a little bit. And from that point on, you can just go for headshots. As you can see what I'm doing here with the focus on Narnia. Hitting them in the knee weak spot and then just spamming headshots after. And as I run out of stamina, as you can see in the bottom, I get red and the slow time effect disappears. So make sure you do go into the fight with as much adrenaline as you can. So I'm starting this fight with free adrenaline points. And if you can get on high ground, even better, but not necessary. So you can see me here, shoot him with a headshot initially, open up the stance, then I trigger the focus on Narnia. And you can see, even when I am 33 levels under, I'm doing major damage because this is consecutive headshots. And I'm not even getting the consecutive headshot skill and I'm already, you know, taking down one stagger bar and a good one fifth of his health. Here you can see again, I started off with the uh, regular arrow headshot. And key aspect of the focus on Narnia, you can see, as I'm running arrows, my 14 arrow arrow count is not going down. So when I'm shooting arrows within this ability, I don't lose arrows in my inventory. That is absolutely huge, alright? And obviously, as you run out of uh, adrenaline, you can't do that anymore. So you're going to build it back. But that's where all the counter roll and uh, speed dodging comes in. You can see me go from a dodge into a slowdown into a counter roll here. This is because bosses and sellers love doing those charge boot attacks. And they're perfect for counter rolling and dodging. So you can see the dodge triggered out the slow speed. And the spear is key in this because after I dodge or roll through, the spear has incredible range. Then I can stay safe but still hit them. Because you can probably only get in two hits and then you gotta go. So you can 
use the uh, rolling to get the melee hits in. Or you can also go for regular arrow headshots, as you can see me here, which opens up his stats. And because I don't have any adrenaline, I'm just gonna hit him with the spear from range. And this spear range honestly works perfectly with the counter roll and the backstep skill that you're gonna get from your skill trees. As you can see, I'm hurting him and breaking his defense. Just make sure you stay a little bit in, a, in between distance, like a mid range area, to bait him into the rune attack. And obviously, as you get all those melee hits in, you're gonna be able to get back your adrenaline bar. And once you do get it back, you know what to do. Hit him with a headshot, open up his stance, go into your focus anonia, and just rain on his weak spots, trigger him into that headshot animation non-stop. And a lot of the time, actually, as you get good at the counter rolling and the dodging and the backstabbing, especially with range from the spear, you just get to finish him off with melee attacks. You don't even need to focus anonia. Alright? So here is the full gameplay. Of this setup fight I had on very hard. I was a good 30, 30 levels under here and you can see just how I throw through the entirety of the fight. So this is likely the best boss build in the game fundamentally speaking. This is the lowest level you can be to be effective against Celets. Now as uh, I level up and as the game progresses I'm gonna add more to this build to make it even more efficient. But as it stands, even at level 57, if you have those fundamental skills down from the skill tree, like I had set up there, you're already good to go. Now, obviously everything is going to be better if you have more adrenaline, if you have a stronger spear, if you have uh, other abilities such as, you know, getting more damage off consecutive headshots or having a sprint attack and, you know, gaining more adrenaline bars. But that's all gravy, right? That's obviously going to make this go by even faster. But the fact that you can do this already at level 57 versus at level 90, you know these are the key fundamentals you need. Everything else after this that you can add on to this build is just extra. But if you have these fundamentals down, you want to make your character like this at level 57. Because you can fight a boss 33 levels higher than you. And obviously, the mobs have no chance, especially with the spear range. So, uh, I'm just gonna let you guys watch this the rest of the way. I'm not gonna talk over it. Uh, as always, thanks for coming by. If you get any more questions, make sure you leave it in the comment section. Uh, more build tutorials will be coming as I improve in this game even more so. So, thanks for coming, and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Thank <laughs> you.